Mr. Jeff Tucker and the American Legion Post this year to create the 17th Annual Memorial Day Ceremony. The ceremony is important to me personally because both of my grandfathers have served in the military and I am grateful that I am able to help honor our nation's veterans on this Monday morning. So again, thank you all for attending this morning to show your gratitude towards those who have served for our nation past, present, and future. Also, a special thank you to Heaven Sent Flower Company for creating this beautiful floral flag and also Inland Business Systems for printing these programs for us. Hello, my name is Noah Blake. Uh, thank you guys all for coming out. This project has been near and dear to me. I have four relatives serving in all different branches of the military. And thank you. So we would like to recognize all the veterans here and the people who are currently serving in our military. So if you have served or are serving, would you please stand up? Thank you, and that also applies to the reason we're here is because we are also remembering the ones that gave the ultimate sacrifice throughout the history of our nation.
is broken. I do not know your uniform and your fears unspoken, but I know your spirit exists, that your courage is admired, and your sacrifice is honored by each soul that is fired. And I offer you from my heart, thank you to guardians unknown for offering yourselves for us all, that we may keep our freedom, our home. God bless America. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Pierce Stahlberg. I'm a Delaware graduate of the class of 2017 and will be attending the University of Oregon. I'll be serving the Army ROTC program there. However, today I want to talk about something very important, and that's today. I grew up with the full knowledge of knowing what Memorial Day represents. Today is the day we recognize our fallen sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, and grandparents that fought and gave their lives to defend our rights liberties, and many freedoms that we can enjoy today. I learned the meaning of Memorial Day from my grandfather, Ernest Dahlberg. If, if you were here last year, you would know that I talked about how my grandfather was a 30-year naval veteran and a Pearl Harbor survivor. More importantly, he taught me what it meant to be full of integrity character and honor, and what the importance it was to serve your country. But that was only part of my grandfather's story. He was a son of a Navy man who started, who served with the distinction in the Spanish-American War as a rigor on the USS Independence. I come from a long line of Navy veterans. At 19, my grandfather left the UOP where he played football for the legendary coach, Alonzo Stagg. He followed in his father's footsteps and joined the Navy as a sailor. He began his career on a destroyer, the DB-354 Monaghan, and worked his way up through the enlisted ranks to become a chief petty officer. On December 7th, 1941, when the bombs started falling on Pearl Harbor, his ship, the Monaghan, was one of the few that were able to steam out of Pearl Harbor. He and the Monaghan, after that day, went on to fight in almost every major naval engagement in the Pacific. And during that time, he lost many friends, many loved ones, people he called his brothers. A very, a story that he told me, which I always remember on this day, is he served with two other chiefs that were on the Monaghan, and they got the opportunity to serve on a submarine. They did straws for it. There was two slots. He got the short end of the stick. He wasn't able to go. A week later, he found out that the submarine sank in battle. While my grandfather was lucky to have escaped death on many occasions, he never forgot his very close friends and comrades that gave their life in the service of their country. And that is why Memorial Day was a very special day to him. And it's a very special day to my family. I plan to follow my father, my grandfather's service to our country by participating in the Army ROTC Organ. And I know he's probably rolling in his grave knowing that I will be an Army and not Navy. <laughs> but I know he'd be happy with my service. God bless America and God bless our fallen heroes. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Alexander Carey, and I am a Delaro graduate of 2017. I will be attending the United States Air Force Academy next year. Uh, before I begin, I would like to thank all of you for coming out and recognizing this day as one of the most important days of this year. I would like to share with you a compilation of speeches from Ronald Reagan. If we took to the answer as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth, it is because here in this land we unleash the energy and individual genius of a man to a great extent that has ever been done before. Freedom and the dignity of the, of the individual have been more available and assured here than in any other place on earth. The price for this freedom at times has been high, but we have never been unwilling to pay that price. Those who say that we are not, those who say that we are in a time where there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. The sloping hills of Arlington National Cemetery with its row upon row of simple white markers, bearing crosses or stars of David. They add up to only a tiny fraction of the price that has been paid for our freedom. Each one of those markers is a monument to the kind of hero I spoke of earlier. Their lives ended in a place called Bella Wood, Argonon, Omaha Beach, Salerno, and halfway around the world on the Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Porkchop Hill, the Chosin Reservoir, and a hundred rice paddies and jungles in a place called Vietnam. Under one such marker lies a young man, Martin Trepto, who left his job in a small town barber shop in 1917 to go to France with the famed Rainbow Division. There on the Western Front, he was killed trying to carry a message between battalions under heavy artillery fire. We're told that on his body was found a diary. On the flyleaf, under the heading, My Pledge, he had written these words. America must mend this war. Therefore, I will work, I will save, I will sacrifice, I will endure, I will fight cheerfully and do my utmost as if it is the issue of the whole structure depended on me alone. We must realize that no arsenal or weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. It is a weapon we as Americans do have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. As for the enemies of freedom, those who are potential adversaries, they will be reminded that peace is the highest aspiration of the American people. We will not negotiate for it, sacrifice for it. We will not surrender for it now or ever. We are Americans. Ready, set. Right, right. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations. According to regulations. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Left, face. 
visitors to Huntington National Cemetery are often stunned by the huge scale of the rolling green hills punctuated by hundreds of thousands of uniform marble gravestones. Each small marker has a name, a rank, the war or operation in which the soldier, sailor, or airman died for the dates of his or her birth and death. These are not ornamental, they are the final resting places for heroes who died in a thousand different ways. They are the 19-year-old Marines who died at Iwo Jima. They are the sailors who perished at Midway on an aircraft carrier. They are the Army Rafflemen who died at Normandy. They are Union soldiers who fell at Antietam. They are helicopter pilots who were shot down in rice paddies in Vietnam. There are army sergeants who were killed when IEDs exploded in Iraq or Afghanistan. There are Air Force pilots who were killed in the skies of Korea. The list of a myriad manners of sacrifice for our country sadly goes on. Hands alert. Two. You be seated. But before we close, I want to say something. This is our 17th year, and I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with what these kids do. I'm going to give him a big hand. Thank you. Thank you all for coming today. Um, feel free, we have donuts and refreshments if you are hungry or thirsty. And thank you all for attending on this beautiful Monday morning. Thanks, guys.